Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to dip in on Inktober. Because That's right. Dip a toe into Inktober. Dip a pen nib. Oh, dip a nib. We're going to dip our nibs into to Inktober. That sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, it does. Now, it is October 1st, which means that Inktober is beginning in normal. It has begun. It has. But this year is not like past years. There's, nope. a, there's a lot of uh, controversy around Inktober. There, there's a lot of bad feelings uh, from uh, many people in the art community about Inktober because of what went down with the uh, Inktober creator, Jake Parker. Yeah. Now, just to wind it back here real quick, for those of you who don't know, uh, Jake Parker was accused of plagiarizing yeah. an art book from a, another YouTuber named Alfonso Dunn. Now it's been pulled down, right? Uh, I believe Bring his it back up. No, I believe his book. Last I checked, and it was like a week or so ago. I checked uh, his book was basically on hold. Jake Parker's book mm -hmm. until they investigated whether or not it was plagiarized. Now before that happened, and look, we watched Alfonso Dunn's video. Yeah, and I think he's he's got a pretty good case to be honest. I mean, there are some things that are universal, but the way that he broke things down and explained things. To me, I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's well. Right I haven't seen the whole book, and I can't compare the two. But from a teacher's perspective, in art, yes, yeah, the lessons that were in there were pretty standard lessons. But there were some things that um, he had done that I that were not what you would normally see, or not how you would normally see something taught. So it was enough that I was even like, from my professional's point of view. Um, which this is one thing I can can speak on. Yeah. It, it did seem a little odd. They both would have that exact same take on a certain thing. So it was that was a little weird. Yeah. So anyway, his publisher has decided to hold uh, hold on to that book until they investigate. Now, before that, there was a lot of ill will toward Mr. Parker because he trademarked Inktober. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he trademarked Inktober, which Inktober had become a a sort of uh, community thing. He banked on it being a community thing. Everybody else built it up to be what it was. And then he wanted to cash in on it, which well, apparently he got to do. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that because now he's making brand deals. Uh, we said before that, they, you know, they have Inktober. And this book he was doing was an Inktober book. They well, have, he was trying to stop people from putting their Inktober drawings out as books and calling it yes. Inktober. Uh, and he also uh, had like Inktober um, boxes, like loot crate boxes with art supplies, Inktober branded. And now... There's another brand deal that Inktober is working with Adult Swim. Right. And there's backlash uh, from that. Well, I just want to, before you do that, go back to the other page. There is the prompt list that's the official. Everybody makes their own anyway. But number one's fish. Oh. There you, need you... To have, you might have to do the first day. You might have to. There you go, guys. Draw a clownfish, tag it, primal Inktober. Primal Inktober. There you go. Uh, and just, just. And then hashtag it Clownfish TV. Inundate uh, Inktober with Clownfish. No, not really. Don't do that. That would be kind of. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. A whole big school of. Fish. I meant you to draw it. But oh, you, you want know, me to draw it? I'm just saying they can do it too if you want to. There you go. There you go. So this is the official uh, Primal plus Inktober trademark. Right. So they made a deal with Adult Swim. Right, and and they're getting they're getting oh it's Brie Larson's birthday and and so oh yay <laughs> and so because uh, it's with them as a deal with a partnership and he owns the rights he's probably getting a, quite the kickback on this I'm I'm assuming yeah so this is yeah as if Adult Swim hasn't done some stupid stuff already now I'm not knocking Primal I'm not knocking uh, Jendi Tartakovsky. Uh, at all, I think he's he's fantastic. But uh, Adult Swim has been making some pretty questionable decisions, mm -hmm. censoring some episodes of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Boondocks. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, that uh, really weren't that offensive, but they they're doing it anyway. Anything that might remotely be offensive, but you know what? I'm going to tell you, you can ban everything you think is remotely offensive, and they'll find something else to be offended by. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. So why try? Why bother? Because you know what? It is what it is, and people are going to be what they're offended about this week. Might be something completely different next week. So what's the effing point? Real quick, the Hocus Pocus trending. I just want to say I was very excited because I got my Hocus Pocus ColourPop uh, Sanderson Sisters makeup eyeshadow palette today. and I ordered it, so I'm very, very happy. Well, there you go. I'm sorry. That's completely off the topic, but I was very excited about Geeky's it. Geeky's girly stuff. I waited yesterday and the site crashed and it was a big old nightmare. There were words I cannot, well, I, I've already repeated on this channel, but I used a lot of them and it went out live today and I was able to get it. Okay. Back to the point. All right. So on uh, on Twitter, 
if you look for Inktober, you're going to come across Primal Inktober, its own hashtag. Uh, oh, we're, for God's sake. I know, right? <laughs> we're excited to announce a partnership with Adult Swim and, and uh, Jendi Tartakovsky's Primal. This is going to be fun. Uh, learn more about it. We already showed you that page. But here it comes. Uh, dang, sorry, Adult Swim. We don't fuck with Inktober no more. That's right. You, you might do the wrong thing and then be have law, you know, legal action threatened against you or something. You never know. Adult Swim, you done goofed. Uh, when will the original Inktober be released? Are they going to release another prompt? I don't know what's going No, on. that is the prompt list. But they have, I guess, four prompts that were primal prompts in addition. Oh, okay. So. Uh, just a reminder that sadly participating in Inktober, sadly, sadly participating, sadly, supports I the, like that time, the so. personal brand of a plagiarist. Thankfully, there's plenty of great alternatives. We're going to talk about that. It's not too late to change your list. Uh, I've compiled a whole thread here. Oh. Okay. So there we go. Oh, there's a whole, this whole account is called Inktober Well, let's look at that real quick. And then we'll talk about the one you're going to put out there. Okay. So here are the uh, alternatives. General prompts list. Uh, Midnight Tober. We've got that. We've got Art Art Ober. Art Ober. I like that one. Art Ober. Uh, none of these are trademarked. I'm waiting for some sort of, you know, legal action. Uh, this is... Uh, Sarah Dan's October 20th. Okay, that's cute though. Some of the things are on there. Your first OC, your latest OC. Okay, that's cute. You know who would love that list? Pinky Boo. Pinky Boo. Pinky Boo would love that list. We gotta send that to her. Sapphic Draw October. Um, here is, they're talking about Alfonso Dunn uh, again. Which, oh, he has his own list for this? Or is I that think, his book? Uh, let's see, his plagiarized and profit off black artist named Alfonso Dunn have made an alternative called Art Tober. That must have we saw earlier. Oh, oh, Awoo-tober. I love that. That's fun. Just say it with me. Awoo-tober. That's just fun. A3-tober. a lot of them, guys. Inkfee-tober. Wow, there's a lot here. What's this one called? Spell-tober. We have Art-tober, Cozy-tober, Pink-tober, Cat-tober. Cat-tober. Oh, Toe-floof. Toe-floof is one of the prompts. I love cats. <laughs> I, I think we should have clownfish tober. One's loaf. <laughs> loaf? Where is this at? Here. Number October 5th, loaf. These are nose, toe beans. Oh my god, toe beans. Nip nops, shrimpy loaf, blood derp. Floofy <laughs> foopa biscuits. I love my cats. Zoomies. We have four cats. Poop foria. Borthole. <laughs> Borthole and tongue. It's it's I love Small. Okay, okay, you go back, but it's so cute. Chonk. Oh, I don't know. We've right. had all these cats if in one. If it fits, it sits. If I fits, I sits. Murder mittens. Oh my god, murder mittens. I love murder mittens. I don't love murder mittens, but I love murder mittens. Sketch a ween. Uh, we God, this is so just just to show you how much bad will uh, has been generated by you know Mr. Jake Parker in the last couple of years in regards to the the indie art. Um, seen, you know, two, three years ago, everybody was about Inktober. Well, we should have done one with this clown, it was Clowntober, cl Clowntober, Clowntober, and been like, you know, one. <laughs> draw um, Brie Larson today. Well, I was going to, no, I was going to say, uh, draw some, draw the original she -Ra. There you go. Draw the original Thundercats. Draw the original, you know, and do that. Oh, we should do that. That would just piss people off and it'd be worth it totally just for that reason. Oh, yeah. But anyway, let's go with the other one we want to talk Cosmere. about. Anyway, let's go back here. Um, but I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, you can see the backlash. They can fund their lawsuits against the artists they pretend to support. Uh, why, you know, it seems very neat. Yeah, people aren't happy with this. Well, there are some people who are. It's oh. A, it's legendary how bad you fuck this up. The greed is breathtaking. Um, wow, some of these are hidden because they're so bad. Stop stealing work from artists and others. Surprise Adult Swim would partner with such a disreputable person and hijacked tag. Not a good look. Well, you know, this is probably in the works for a while, though, honestly. Yeah. They would have had the lawyers go through the list and, you know, everything else. And, you know, it would have been it would have been going for months. But there is an alternative um, my friend Sarah sent over. And it's Toontober. Toontober. Now, they have a Discord. I'm not going to show you. The Discord, because, you know... Yeah. You can link to it if you go to the... Uh, Toontober.com takes you yeah, right to it. it takes yeah. you to it. But this is, uh, like, the traditional animation Don Bluth type. Yeah. This is a Don... Isn't it his board? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think it's his... I think this is just independent uh, artists, okay. but they so have Don Bluth as... It's the first time they've ever done this. Mm -hmm. But they're doing this. And here are the, here are the, the categories. Uh, go ahead. 
Uh, yeah, days one through three, we have rubber hose animation. So uh, for those of you who like, you know, Felix the Cat and Oswald. Oh, so this is like actually going chronologically. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So the history of, of I love this. animation. So you can even throw in Bendy and the Ink Machine in there if you wanted to, because that's based on the rubber hose animation. Uh, Disney's Golden Age and Wartime Shorts. I actually have a Poison Apple Cup in the other room. Oh, yeah, you do. And it glows in the dark. Uh, classic Shorts from Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry and more. Days to, I like this because they're not... Like real, they're just like, you've got like three days to do these. So here we have uh, Silver and Bronze Age, Cinderella, The Rescuers Down Under. Hanna-Barbera. Awesome. Uh, we've got the Yay. 80s, toy-based cartoons in the 80s. So we've got Shira. Rock and Roll. Yeah, She-Ra. Real She-Ra. Not the shit they keep passing up of She-Ra. The real She-Ra. Two of my favorite. Do it for me, people. Yeah, do do real She-Ra. Uh, but they got Mock from Rock and Roll. Nice to see that. Which is awesome. Don Bluth gets three days. Yeah, three days of Don Bluth. we got the 90s, the Disney Renaissance. Uh, before the lead era that we're in now. Yeah. And classic cartoon shows. So like Batman, the animated series. And uh, 21st Century, you've got, you know, like Adventure Time. I, I, why are they throwing Lilo and Stitch in with Adventure Time? I don't know. I, I don't know either. That's a little weird. And then just your favorite characters. And then Day 31, spooky cartoons. <gasps> the Headless Horseman! Oh my God. Oh, and Over the Garden Wall. Both are really awesome. They are very awesome. Blood Sleepy Hollow and that. Those are both very, very good choices. They need anime though. Where's anime? That is a good point. There probably is an anime prompt list. Well, that one was kind of anime. That's why I was going to send it to, to Pinky Boo. I'll see people already doing it. Well, we're going to... I recommend doing this one if you're going to do one. Oh, that's so cool. There's that. Bendy in there. Ben, well, no, that's it. Cuphead. They have Cuphead. I thought they had Bendy Cuphead, too. yeah. There's Cuphead. Rubber hose air. Oh, look. We got oh, Brave, Brave Little Toaster. Brave Little Toaster. Wait, there's prizes, too. There's prizes. Oh, Don Bluth. Oh, Don okay, Bluth so this... donated items. Okay, that's what Sarah was talking about. Okay, okay, so Don Bluth donated a few items for this year's Toontober, hosted by Traditional 2D in Toontober. It looks like a lot of fun. Hope everyone can join. Damn it, we got to get Don Bluth on the show. We're going to get Don... Anybody oh, know? Chipmunks! I love the Chipmunk Adventure. I it's... have an actual Anastasia cell somewhere you in do. our house. Yes, you do. I do. Uh, you know what's... The Chipmunk Adventure, though, is criminally underrated. It was actually... Done... Okay, so people are like, how come the Chipmunk show, the animation wasn't very good, but the movie, it was really, really good? It's because those were a bunch of laid-off Disney artists mm -hmm. that worked on the Chipmunk Adventure. That and was a good... That was a good... I used to watch that over time, all the time I was a kid. Even I find this part very funny. Oh, uh, Dexter's laugh. Oh, the irony... Yeah. The irony of Jenny Tarkovsky's. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Dom, so Don Bluth did put his stamp. Yeah, I thought this. he did. I'm going to like that one, too, because it's Don Bluth. Don Bluth is awesome. And uh, he's actually, he's making a comeback now. He's yes. a comeback again. I don't know. He's had a couple comebacks. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know if this a is a come, comeback, but he's, yeah, he's talking about going all in on, on 2D animation because it is becoming a lost art. You know, everybody's kind of relying on, on 3D and on Flash and, and all that. But, uh, you know, being able to animate like the old school animators is is becoming a lost art. Right. So this so. is a traditional 2D animation uh, Discord. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are on there. And, and I've been assured by my friend Sarah that politics, they don't talk about it. They actually talk about art and things related to that. And they have good mods over there that don't put up with a lot of crap. So yeah. if you're interested in that, you can find the link uh, on their website or, yeah, to Toontober.com. You're going to follow them, too. All right. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens to Inktober. I think that the brand has absolutely lost value. Yeah, um, it really it already did. I mean, it was already like a black eye last year when the, the whole trademark debacle happened. I mean, I get why he's doing it, but, it, you know, and it was, oh, no, no, it's fine. Don't worry. It's not going to affect anything. You can do whatever, but you can't put books with Inktober on it. Um and now there's goes from that to yeah. you know the, this quote was plagiarism thing. I don't I don't know. It's just it's not a good look. And now Adult Swim's throwing their hat in, which obviously he got money for that. Oh yeah, I'm sure he got big bucks for that. But yeah, he's making all these brand deals and stuff, or rather his agents probably making all these brand deals uh, for him. But it's it's one of those things where you know it's let me help you help me because this whole thing was basically started as. Uh, you know, an exercise in, in building his social media presence. Right. And now, you know, but the thing is, when you kind of give something to the community like that, you can't just, like, take it back. Yeah, you know? it'd be like, <laughs> you know, saying you have Creative Commons, you know, up for things and yeah. suddenly deciding, no, nope, I'm taking all the Creative Commons back after all these years. After now, it reminds me of Webtoons is what it reminds me of. Yeah. You know, I'm going to use all of you guys to build up the brand, make it something big, and then I'm going to go out and take the money and give it to deals with other people and bring them in and not always give it back to the people who build it up. Yeah, that's the and, problem. Yeah, and I mean, I'm I'm all for making money, absolutely. But in this case, it was like Inktober was kind of like I guess sold. I'm using air quotes here, 
sold as being a community exercise for young artists to hone their skills and show off their work. And uh, and now he's just kind of like taking it for himself and been like, well, I'm just going to make all the money off of it now. It's, yeah, well, given who the agent is, it doesn't surprise me. Blowing up in his face, I think, uh, at this point. But yeah, I'm surprised Adult Swim's getting the backlash they are. Well, you know what? They, there's other things they, they deserve backlash ever want more. But, you know, yeah, so, we're backlash for Adult Swim. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, guys, you know, you, it's October. You can you can honestly make yourself a prompt any damn month. Why, why does it have to be October? Why can't we do December? You could. Like, but people are busy because of the holidays. Well, dude, January then. Nobody's... That's true. Nobody's doing jack squat in January. But there are a lot of lists. People often make their own lists. You don't have to use the official prompt list. I no. mean... They're dumb anyway, and most of these are pretty dumb. I mean, here's the official prompt list. Wisp, bulky, prey, blade, rodent, fancy, teeth, throw, hope. Hope? <laughs> I mean, disease. I mean, these are- Hope and disease. Oh my uh, God, this sounds like 2020. A lot this of is 2020 just, the list. A lot of these are just like- Dune? You know, yeah, Storm. it's just, you know, are we allowed to have Dune on there? Is it? Are you? Is it trademarked? God. So I don't know. But there's not a lot of likes on that. For Adult Swim, like 300, that's pathetic. Yeah, people just... They yeah, it was listen. posted two days ago. It was posted two days ago. It's only got 300 likes on it. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. That is really bad. So and that's, that's in the official October, too. Yeah, yeah. People are just... They are just had it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.